Mother of God, please help my wife. Mother of God, please deliver my wife. She knows a prayer word. She wants a prayer to somebody. Mother of God, please. Mother of God, please help me. Well, I, I went to pray with somebody. Well, suddenly, the thing, the thing hits me. Something hits me, and since then, I cannot walk again. She says she's not a prophetess, but she was moved to go and pray for somebody that is sick. After praying for that person, the evil spirit left the person and entered her. She, she, Instantly? Yes, sir. She says she cannot walk. So what moved you to go and pray? I, I followed the, my, this person to just to You pray. follow her? I, I followed the person to go and pray for her. You follow your colleague to go and to pray, pray for people. people. Yes, sir. And, and the, the person was sick. Uh, and the, After I finished praying, yes, the spirit entered you. Yes, sir. Instantly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then what happened to the person happened to you now? Yes, sir. Ah! <laughs> so what, what now moved you to pray for a person? What moved you? I followed my friend. Just follow, follow? No, no, not like that, sir. It's follow, follow now. What moved you? Follow, follow, sir. <laughs> <laughs> follow, 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 follow. Sir, please help me. After praying for the person, the sickness of the person enter you. Yes, sir. And now, instantly, you start sick. I cannot walk. I cannot. And you could not walk yes, immediently. Sir. Yes, sir. You, yes. you mean creep? Yes, sir. Ah. Yes, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Look here. Look here. This is Jesus. Look at it. Do you see? This is Jesus. Stand up and go. I see her walking. Oh, I'm free. Couldn't yes, walk before. I can't walk now. I can't walk now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I can't walk now. You are free. Okay. My name is Mrs. Marian Eze. Next to me is my husband, Uzoma Eze. We are from Imo State, Nigeria. I'm here to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life. One morning in February, I went to pray with a group of people. After praying, the person was lying on the floor, on his mouth in his house. After praying, we all left. I went back to my house. On getting to my house, I sat, there's a way I normally, there's where I normally sit. I went down to my chair to sit. Immediately I sat on that chair. Something like thunder now hit me at my back. Run fast like a snake and tie my neck. It was so bad. So I'm um, Try, I was trying to stand to make some noise, and I passed off. Suddenly, I don't know what I was doing. I don't even know that. I don't even know how everything was going on in my life since that February up to last week, when my husband was saying that we would come to Synagogue Church of All Nations. We went to entire bus. From then to this place, I don't know anything again. My, my body was weak, my leg, my eyes, everything was just off. So now they have now put me on prayer line. I was prayed for by the man of God. Immediately I was prayed for. I, I got instant healing. Because since February up to that last week, I, I don't do anything again. He's the one taking care of the children, washing, cooking. Everything was done by him. So immediately that touch was on me, my healing Come back instantly. And last week, after the prayer, we now went back home. I started doing my duties and everything. Even when we were, when we were told to come back this week, I, 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 in the bus, I was the one taking care of him now. In the bus, not him taking care of me again. Because he was busy sleeping from this state to this place. Just, I thank God for everything. I thank God for, the mercy, for his mercy in my life, for restoring me back to, to normal. So we're going to listen to the testimony of this young woman. 
qui a reçu la prière dimanche dernier, elle explique comment la chose est arrivée. Elle a dit qu'elle a suivi un groupe d'amis pour aller prier pour quelqu'un. Lorsqu'elle est rentrée chez elle, elle était justement simplement assise. Elle a senti comme un tonnerre qui est entré dans la maison, passé à travers son dos, monté dans son corps comme un serpent et enroulé son cou, qui a fait que son cou était bloqué. Depuis ce temps-là, elle ne se trouvait plus à l'aise avec elle-même, avec son corps, elle ne peut marcher, elle peut faire quoi que ce soit, jusqu'à ce qu'elle vienne à la synagogue de dimanche dernier. Qu'elle reçoive la prière pour la gloire de Dieu. Elle a dit qu'elle aujourd'hui, elle est complètement libre. Can you tell us the condition that woman was when you got there with the people you follow there to pray for the woman? The condition was very bad. She was just lying helplessly on the floor. She can't do anything. But after we prayed, we left. That was just... So what now happened to you when you get back home? I went to my chair to sit. Maybe I sat on that chair. Something hit me like a thunder. And it moves, it moves fast. Like a snake and tie my neck. Mm. That was all I can remember. Mm. Mm -hmm. That woman was lying helplessly on the floor. So you to become helpless. helpless. Yes. You could not do anything. I can't do anything since February to last week. So we put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> since the man of God prayed for you, have our you been fearing? I'm fine. I'm strong. And I'm healthy now. My advice is, if you are not blessed, if you are not strong, if you are not ordered by God, don't do it. Don't follow. Stop following. The way I have stopped following. <laughs> they should mm. stop following. They should listen and hear from God first. Or be strong with God's spirit, directed by God. Don't move. Don't follow because you want to follow. Or don't follow because it's a, it's a group. Be sure that you are committed by the Holy Spirit, sent by God, and by approved by God, then you can. My name is Mr. Ozo Amaize. I'm from Imo State. My wife has already said all. My advice is this. These people, more especially people following, pray anyhow, clapping, pray for people. This one, This is my wife's sickness. She will teach me a lesson. <laughs> I suffered cooking like, cooking like a, a, a woman. Carry her for back. Everywhere. Cross road. I carry her like this. The cross road. This thing teach me a lesson, a serious lesson. Stop following people, pray in a hard prayer. Moving, moving with the Holy Spirit. When Holy Spirit directs you to go and pray to someone, because you don't know how spirits inside the person are going to pray, whether thousands or spirits. <laughs> so stop, stop, stop pray. Even clap, stop clap. <laughs> She's okay now. She's very, very healthy and very, very working fine. She's very, very okay. Even also me, I'm very, very okay. I'm delivered. <laughs> Shall we put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ? Donc, comme elle a annoncé auparavant, elle a dit qu'elle a suivi un groupe de personnes pour aller prier pour une dame qui était euh, allongée, qui ne pouvait plus bouger, qui avait des difficultés à pouvoir se déplacer. Et elle a dit que lorsqu'ils ont fini de prier pour cette femme, elle est rentrée chez elle. Et lorsqu'elle s'est assise, elle a dit qu'il y a un éclair qui est entré comme un tonnerre qui est entré dans la maison, passé sur son dos et monté vers son cou comme un serpent pour lier son cou. Et depuis, il avait des difficultés à se déplacer. Tout, exactement la même condition que la femme avec, pour laquelle elle venait juste de finir de prier. Et euh, le mari aussi s'est plaint disant que c'est lui qui faisait toutes les activités dans la maison. Il devait la, il devait la porter sur son dos pour pouvoir se déplacer. Ça a été très difficile pour lui. Et elle a confirmé les conseils tous les deux de ne, de, de ne pas suivre les gens à les prier. Simplement, si le Saint-Esprit ne vous a pas donné le désir de pouvoir faire, ou le, ne vous a pas commissionné ou donné l'instruction de prier pour quelqu'un, ne suivez pas les gens à, à prier ni, ni à les joindre à étendre la main. C'est une mission dangereuse par rapport à ce qui s'est passé pour sa femme. C'est une leçon pour tout le monde. Escuchamos otro poderoso testimonio que también es una gran lección para los cristianos. Esta mujer junto a su esposo vienen a contarnos que ella hace unos meses siguió a unos miembros de su iglesia a ir a orar por una persona enferma. Ella dice que al ir ella encontró a esta persona enferma en el suelo, estaba postrada, estaba muy débil, oraron por esta persona y cuando ella regresó a su casa ella sintió como algo golpeó su espalda, entró en 
su cuerpo como una serpiente y ató su cuello Y a partir de ese momento ella se encontró en la misma condición En la que estaba la persona a la, por la cual ella fue a orar Ella dice que desde ahí si, se quedó debilitada No pudo volver a caminar, a realizar sus actividades diarias Y era su esposo quien le ayudaba en casa a cuidar de sus hijos Y a cuidar del hogar, ella viene aquí Junto a su esposo y por gracia de Dios recibió oración por parte del profeta Tibi Joshua Y ese espíritu inmundo que entró en ella salió e inmediatamente ella recibió su sanidad Y ahora se siente perfectamente bien y como lección ella le dice a todos los cristianos Que no vayan a orar por otros o a imponer manos a otros si no han sido enviados por Dios Si no han recibido la instrucción del Espíritu Santo porque al ella ir sin esa instrucción el Espíritu que estaba afectando a esa mujer enferma Entró inmediatamente en ella y también le causó mucha aflicción y enfermedad Pero para la gloria de Jesucristo ella fue totalmente sana Continuamos 